Hello. Shalom. Welcome back. Definitely not best to look inside there. Look what he's doing here. Shit, shit. Listen, I'm slipping down. What if I lie that way? You want to roll this way? I made a mistake. Oh, I'm freezing. Uh, yeah. Feels a bit weird. First time vlogging, so to speak. Uh, coming out for a bit of a camp tonight. See the car down there. Not really too sure where I'm going, but it's going to be a hot one through the night. This is literally a last minute decision to uh, to come out. So I ran to the garage, took a few bits in the bag, and here we are. I'm with the dog. She is exploring. I really don't know where I'm going. I don't want to go too far because they have got to get back for work in the morning. So uh, I'm hoping to get somewhere nice and high. Nice sunset. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Problem is, where I am, it's a very um, popular dog walking place and extremely popular with mountain bikers. So I don't really want to be, you know, stumbling into any of those in the morning. I've got quite a big tent, so I need to, uh, I need to find a big pitch. So I was in a bivy bag, which I have just brought today, so, well, as in purchased, not brought with me. It'd be perfect, but I've got the dog, so uh, I need to be in a tent. I am sweating, sweating buckets, and I don't know where the dog's gone. Uh, I've never camped in these woods before. I've walked around them many a times, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty dense. There is a footpath, footpath just down there. I'm kind of hoping, I mean, it's now, it's now nearly 8 p.m. I'm thinking of just pitching up around here. The dog, whether you can see her. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good here tonight. If we can get a nice flat lay, I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, tent is all up. Uh, I have the Nature High Cloud Peak 2. It's not pegged down yet. But uh, I'm sure you know all about this tent by now. Very popular tent on YouTube. Not the easiest thing to do when landed, especially if it's not pegged down. Yeah. So guys, I realize you've uh, not actually been properly introduced to Poppy. Yep, this is Poppy. How are you, Poppy? Eh? Yeah. So she is my... Oh. She is my 11-year-old schnauzer. She loves nothing but the outdoors. Absolutely lives for her walks. Lives, yeah, for the outdoors. So she's coming with us tonight. It's not her first rodeo either. So guys, I'm just gonna chill. I'm all set up. Just gonna have a drink. It's about 10 past eight. Uh, unfortunately, no view like I wanted. This, I wanted to be over. Can't really see, but I want it to be on the hills over there. 
Um, but it was, it's, it's a tourist trap. It's quite busy. So I thought I'd come this side. Less of a view. Uh, I mean, these trees can be uh, a cool night to be fair because it is, well, I'm sweating. Not sure if you can see that, but I am so wetting. Right, guys, I'm just going to have a drink. Got some sweets. Listen to a podcast. Okay, guys. Um, it's been about half an hour since I last updated you. I lasted about five minutes outside. Uh, I was getting eaten alive by loads of bugs. So I have retreated to the tent. You see, I've got a nature hike pillow, nature nature hike pillow, and Poppy has got her bed for the night. Of course, if she gets locked with me, I've actually brought all the gear in the tent with me tonight, guys, purely because, well, I've got the room. I've left my little chair outside, as you can see. It is. Still bright, it's about quarter to nine, so it's not really uh it's not really getting dark. But like I say, I just I just I couldn't stay out there because of the bugs. Morning. What time is it? I don't know what time it is to be honest. Morning. Ten to six. <sighs> Been awake a little while. Ended up sharing, sharing a bed with the dog. Don't we, Poppy? Tent is covered in bugs. Luckily, all on the outside. So then guys, coming to an end, uh, about five past six, just having a coffee, Poppy's waiting, she has been exploring, started packing away bits and bobs into my bag, and then I'll start taking the tent down, head back down towards the car, should only be a 10-15 minute walk back to the car. only walking. Yeah. How did I sleep? I slept pretty well. Dropped off by about half past ten. Listened to a podcast. Uh, woke up a couple of times through the night. Wasn't particularly cold. Especially with having Poppy snuggling up with me. Didn't we Poppy? So yeah. As you've just seen, it was a dog walk come past. So, uh, definitely time to disappear. So then guys, all packed up, ready to go. Uh, that's where we pitched. I want you in focus. Yeah, nothing left behind. And that's it. Just remember where the car was. It was down this way. So there was a few places I was going to go. I was going to go down there. But it was a bit, uh, bit bait. I'm not going this way. This isn't the way to the car. But I noticed this last night. Let's go and have a look what it is. Ah, it's just covering trees. This way, this way. Come on then, come on then. 
This way. Down. You remember the way. Who girl. This is where you get a lot of dog walkers, a lot of cyclists, and a lot of people on horses, to be honest. Horses, is that right? Horse. Uh, so yeah, in fact, you can't see it. I can see the car just there, and it is this way. You wouldn't believe she's 11 years old, would you? I wanted, can't quite see it now, I wanted to be up there last night. That's where the really nice sunset is. But, yeah, just at the top of there. But, it's also, uh, there was a few people up there last night when I arrived, so I didn't really want to go up there with my gear and stuff. You see the car just coming into view, and the dog's gone that way. Ready? Come on you! <laughs>